no, no, no. Well, Bungie Gamers, welcome back to another episode of Technological Journey. Last time we, what did we do last time? We finished up getting the heavy quark degenerate matter. We got the degenerate matter ingot. And then we got all these ingots. We set up a bunch of fusion reactors. Uh, we got the super heavy L and H ingots, and we managed to end the episode with the cosmic SMD transistors. So we put a good chunk into this, uh, or I guess you could say we took a big bite out of this chapter, which is good. We're, we're hungry for more. Uh, this episode, I'd like to work on closing the gap. Uh, we have a few things left to do. I would like to get the ultra short pulse laser. I, we also, I think we're going to do cosmic ray detector today. That's, that's probably where we're going to start this, the ultra short pulse laser is second, and then EYV superconductor base is going to be third. So, um, let's just dive in here with this. So taking a look at this, nothing too complex. At least not by the looks of things, right? Let me clear that. So we want this. And what do we want? We want a piece of tape and then the auto taping hatch. Uh, we can get a piece of paper. Whoa, we have so much paper. That's fine. What was it? Cosmic ray? Cosmic Ray, put that in, bingo bongo, that goes into the trash. Honestly, we could probably trash these P2Ps um, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, paper, paper. Centrifuge is probably the easiest one to find. Yeah. Okay. Cosmic Ray. Right, so what do we need for this? Obviously we need the cosmic ray block itself. Why do we have output hatch ULB there? That's not right. Because we want, we want that bigger, don't we? Output hatch. We want like an LUV at the very least, I think. Probably at the very most. Uh, while we're here, while we're thinking about it, let's get a pattern in for this. So, Cinnabite, yada yada. So this all needs to go into the far, um, this one, the, f the far left one here. Because I think this one is the only one that has Cinnabite. Yeah. So we can put this here. Cosmic Ray, right? Gear, superconductor coil. This one's not that interesting either. Is this interesting? No. Nothing, nothing interesting, sadly. So this one is literally just, do we need, we don't need qubits for that. That's good. That one's fine. Let me get these patterns in. Okay, so I got all the patterns in except for this skin tillator crystal. Uh, I don't know why I came back specifically for this, but I feel like this is going to be a big one or an issue, not an issue, um, but th something we're going to have to think about. What is this extruder? Now, I know we have a forming press. Yeah, but this is... Oh, sweet. It is UHV. I thought it would have been not UHV. So with that, we should be able to craft this. We are not able to craft this because we are out of those. Cool. Okay, and these dusts, some of them are pretty simple. Like this one is just a blast furnace recipe that we should be able to make MBF none. What is this? Thallium. We're missing. Ah, this is this with uh, cesium and iodine. Okay. So 
we can probably put this one in a misc chemical. If we're smart. Are we smart? I don't know. I, th I like to think we are. Casein iodide. Yes, maybe. The iodide got turned into something. Because of course it did. Oh, it got turned into a liquid. Interesting. Okay. So that recipe cannot go in here. Obviously. Obviously it can't. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's try it in here. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Which means we should be able to craft this. Yes. Okay. So the first dust there is fine. Next up is this. This is a mixer. Ugh. Ew. We should be able to craft this. That's only one bucket, so we don't have to worry about that overflowing. Cadmium tungstate. We need trioxide for that? <laughs> what? That's insane. Because that comes from over here, right? Sodium tungstate. Hmm. Is it you that it happens to? Tungstate acid. Hmm. Oh, we can just kind of mix it back. Uh, tungsten carbide dust. Okay. So that's not too bad. That's actually really good for us. Otherwise, we would have to think about it more. I don't. We would have. I was thinking this is the only recipe for tungsten trioxide. But if this is a recipe, that's pretty good. We just need to come over here. Does this have oxygen in it? It doesn't? It does. So we should be able to put trioxide on here. Yeah. Okay, trioxide's good. Next up is cadmium sulfide. And an alloy smelter? That's wild. Do we even have an alloy smelter? Yeah, no, I guess we do. Though I'm not sure what tier it is. It has to be LUV. Cadmium sulfide. This is wild. That's fine. I don't think there's a alloy smelter. Mega block is there? No. No, there doesn't seem to be, which is fine. No problems. Not all machines can have multi blocks. Sometimes we just have to suffer in silence. Cadmium sulfide. That's makeable sweet. So now it's just this bismuth. We never got this. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So for these two. I just went ahead and made, I wonder if we're going to need like two more. Oh, this isn't, this is a, we have that though. So what are we looking for? We're looking for bismuth nitrate, which we have. Cool. We're also looking for anthrace, which we have. Cool. Okay. I have two large chemical reactors. These will be multi-purpose, quote unquote. Um, but for right now, we want an input bus. We want a normal input bus or an EV input bus, and we want an input hatch, right? So let's go, we'll choose this one. One for the laser, one for the items, and one for the liquid. Right, uh, laser. 
going to be one of these. And this is going to be, we need, I'm not going to passive these. These are just going to be um, on demand, I think. So we'll do this. Uh, we want this. So there you go. So that goes in laser. You go in. You get bismuth nitrite. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hook into this. Ain't no shame. Ain't no shame. Um, interface. So we can do a quad output hatch. And then an output bus. Let's do EV. Right? Because it doesn't matter. We just need a place for these. Uh, for the outputs to go. Um, like I said, this will be on demand, so it's not incredibly important that these have, these are stockpiled. I don't, I can't remember the last time we set up like an on demand machine like this. It's definitely been a while because we've passived a lot. Um, but now we should have bismuth germ something or another. Do we? We're missing germanium. How do we get germanium? Oh, we have the dust. We need the oxide. Oh. Oh, that's really easy. We just put it through the MBF. Oh, we'll do that after. So that's that. So we need this now. Why did I think this was a, um, why did I think this wasn't a mix? What? What's wrong with me? Okay. I'm, uh, I, I'm too Greg pilled for this. We need the mixer, which is here. Um, do, 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 do. this is a, of two. So we want, no, no. Where is the fluid on this bad boy? There we go. There we go. Uh, you can have this. Let's see if we can get lucky mixer nine, two, yeah. Oh, it's full. Mixer two is full. Which is fine, which is fine. What we do is we grab another input bus and then we break this one and then we just add it. Again, we're, we're overdoing it on the machines. <laughs> we need, need to fix this eventually. Probably sooner because we're almost like at the not the hard part, but the, the check of the pack, right? What was that? This was poly. Okay. What do we need for this? This is ah, iodine dust. What the hell? Oh, we need a lot, a lot of this. So let's pass of this. Okay, so we have bismuth germanite working beautifully. So that can go. So we just need this tetracine. Tetracine, right? And so this is going to be preferably an LV input. Then we need, what was it? A purple lamp. HBA, yes. And then palladium. Oh, what the hell is this? Hmm. 
Actually, this doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's go over to our little place here, right? So we want this. So we want fine. We only would have that. Oh my god, how much do we need? We even have lithium we do okay so that's just a matter of putting this in a wire mill right and then we want palladium acetate which we have okay let's see if this is enough we're gonna need some cells too I mean, anything important? No. Ah. Okay, so for this, we're going to want you, you, and the lamp we just made. So that's that's good. That's dual purpose. And then water and hydrochloric acid. Oh, easy. Water, hydrochloric acid, could not be simpler. Could maybe be a little bit simpler. <laughs> oh, we're one short palladium acetate, palladium and acidic acid. Oh, no, we're so close. Thankfully, we have like 9 million palladium dust, so it's fake. He says palladium chloride. Oh, that's palladium dust and chlorine. This is why I always cut these out, because I'm always missing a step. There we go. Right. Palladium dust, palladium chloride. Acidic acid, there we go. Easy as that. That's 17 seconds though. That is 17 seconds UEV. But we can do something like this. Working disabled. Why? Huh. Machine needs more power. Is this a... Now that's a UV recipe. Why do you need more power? Um, okay. It's because we did this before. Um, we had disable limit on the flux configurator. But now, this should just go. And in the meantime... We can take these back, put them in. Um, so, 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 that, that. Oh, fuck. Let's see if we have these. We don't. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, okay, we are back. I put down a bunch more LCRs and a chem plant. Actually, this should be like that. So let's just go through these, right? Let us let's just set up what we have. So for this, we need the LV input bus, right? This is going to be the lamp and palladium I never grabbed that that's funny not purple we're not a purple yet actually I don't even know if we'll ever get like past uh, past yellow I'm sure we will I'm sure we'll have like some in red but maybe not purple maybe 
we'll finish the pack before purple. I guess it depends on how much um, expanding I do um, for the end game. Right, so this should be that. So we want quad input. Quad input hatch. Yeah, you can come here since that is the last ingredient. Right, and it's going to be isopropyl. It's going to be these three. Perfect. Just set this to a higher priority. I'm not sure if we'll put it, we may put it on green. We may, we'll see. We'll see, but this will output. Hmm. We want an output hatch, a quad output hatch. And then like two output buses of the single variety. Right, so we want something like this, I think. Bam, bam, and bam. So that's gonna be that, that's all set up. So we have this, but to get this, we need these two. So let's clear these off. This is the chem plant one, right? So this is the chem plant. And for this, we need two input buses. Two input buses and then a quad input hatch. For all the delicious fluids we're gonna have. Right, and then the output of this is going to be items. We don't really want the items, we just want the liquids. So output hatch, output bus, right? And then three filtered output hatches. Bus just goes wherever these three are important. That should form, but it doesn't because it's me. Oh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, you are going to be this one. You're going to be the purple one. And you are going to be hydroboric acid. So what's missing here? Well, the first one, obviously, is tape. The second one. Curious. That should form? It does. Sweet. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll put that one here. I forget which one that was. Um, the brown one. Right, and then, and then what? Two of these, and then this one. Bam, 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 bam. That's gonna be annoying because I don't think we have a lot of those is going to be this and then we want rhodium ah oh, christ i knew i knew it would catch up to us eventually i thought this would be like a quick quick quickish episode well that's fine not all of these have to be quick What's this catalyst? 
Oh, it's a mixer. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice at least. So it's going to be Naquata. Naquata dust. Uranium dust. And then rhodium dust. In here? Ah, it would require a ZPM mixer. Do we have we have a UV mixer we can we can make really fast. And then after this, right? So that'll take a minute. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. This is going to be so annoying. Let me get, let me get some of this so we can bootstrap the, um, the process here. Okay. I should have everything we need, um, for the rest of this. I hope, uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah. We were over here. We're getting this set up. So we need one of these. Perfect. Right, so that's that input bus. This form. Yeah, okay, cool. So the chem plant should be fine. Now we need to do this, right? But this should be pretty simple. Uh, we'll put it here. What is this? Not even going to pretend. Cool. So this is going to be an input bus. And then I put hatch, two of these to be exact. This one is going to get the vanadium. Bam, bam. This is going to be annoying, I think. I think this is going to be annoying. We're just going to have to start it up and see what we're missing. Hydrogen peroxide, U. We also need a, a drive or something to put this in. So water, so filtered. I put hatches, one here and one here. You are going to be water. You're honestly probably just going to get voided. And you, but you though, let's make you not water. Because I feel like we'd get the wrong one storage so i think this one we want to be a storage bus this one we want to be a trash can okay so that's the recycle going easy peasy we're gonna put this on the green subnet is this lime? It is lime. <sighs> Maybe not this one though. Not that one, but these will be. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. We need more cable. We need more uh lime cable. Is this coherent? Is this a coherent episode? I feel like we've lost the plot like a couple of episodes ago and we're just mindlessly putting down LCRs. I need to count how many LCRs we have because th there's so many. <sighs> okay, so all of this is good. So what do we want? That's the output. This one's the input. This one is we want hydrogen peroxide. Right, so We have you, things need to be like this and like this. We also need a drive, right? Do we have, we don't, 
Okay. Okay. Sell workbench, get one of these, and then like a 64k, I think. Overkill for right now, but so this, so we want this in here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We should also try to get this going, right? Ay, ay, ay. What a mess. What a mess of an episode. I don't even know where any of this is gonna end up, but. Like, do we even have half of these? We have chlorine, obviously. But like... Hold on. What are we looking for? We're looking for iodine. Nope. Nope. Also no. So we need all of these. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I love this for us, dude. And the bucko suck eyed. Right? We have this, right? Yeah. Thank God. I would have lost my mind if we didn't have that. This pack is killing me. It's breaking me, but I'm strong. Okay. So I think the rest of these are... We need this to come back. So we want the fluids to come back. So the fluids need to come back. You need to come over here. But then... We were... We were passiving this. Yes, okay. This is hilarious. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So let's just get these remaining fluids done, right? So let's do iodine monochloride. Iodine, iodine. Okay, so this is good input. And then you, that's an HV. You know what? EV. Pop down here. So we want. We want you to be iodine. And we want you to be chloride. Chlorine. Holy shit. Chlorine. Maybe this is. Maybe this. All this is going to go on green. All this is going to go on green. This is going to go on green. This is subnetable. It's being a subnet. Uh, fluid output. Uh, output hatch. Uh, EV, EV, EV. Yes. So you are going to be the liquid we crave. You are going to be tape. You are also going to be tape. You are going to have a source bus on you. And then we just need to give it power. Let me fly you, Bojo. We got it. Okay. Okay. Whew. First one done. Mm. Okay. Okay. So this one gets recycled as well. Shit, it doesn't. It does. It does. Okay, so we want this on here as well. Th 
this is going to be a long episode. I don't care. Iodine, so reagent. So it's going to be input and quad. It's going to be one of these and a quad input hatch. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Bam, bam. Okay. You are going to be magnesium chloride, which means that needs to get added. We're going to do this before we forget because I always forget to add these. I know we can make magnesium chloride. Why can we not make magnesium chloride? It comes. Comes from titanium. Are we putting this in a? We're probably just putting this in a electrolyzer. Okay, that's wild. We'll come back to that. The rest of these. The rest of these are easy. Right. All we need to do is like bootstrap this again. Again, 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 again. Another ingredient, another bootstrap process. Bromine, acetylene. Do we have this? I don't know what we have. We'll try. We don't? Okay, that's fine. We're going to need another. <sighs> ah, losing it. We're going to have three filters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just liquid, just liquid. Okay, good. So, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got for this? We got hydrochloric acid. Here we got chlorine. And here is the one we want, the reagent, right? So the reagent gets a storage bus, but these two get fluid interfaces and we will pump them into the subnet or pump them out of the subnet. So that's reagent done. Mm. What are we doing? We have that. So we need the dimethyl something or another. Methanol and naphthalene. Okay, this one's this one's not gonna be too bad. Dimethyl naphthalene. Dimethyl naph lean close enough this is just two to two okay the uh, quad input you a quad input and then filtered output hatches because this produces water so that means half of it is trash yeah and then you and you you my friend are going to be the one we want, and you are going to be water. Right? Bam, bam, bam. Uh, trash. We are just floating water at this point. We have so much water. Water is unnecessary. Water does not exist. If this was Mad Max, we would be we would be a moral Joe right now, just swimming in how much water we have. But it's not. It's great tech. And we have other ways of getting liquid. Uh, so we want ethanol and naphthalene. Then we want to come over here. We don't have enough room. Actually, we might have room for one. I hope we have naphthalene. If we don't have naphthalene, oh, we do. Blessed. Blessed be this feast. Put methanol there. You there. Extract only. Uh, tape. 
you need tape. Tape, 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 tape. Everything needs tape. Use, use. So if you come over here. We just need the remaining bits for the reagent. We also need another chem reactor. Okay. Let me get the, get the catalyst and place down another chem reactor. Okay, we are back. I got 64 buckets and 25 buckets of the respective uh, liquids I need. Now let's see if I can remember where to place them. I also made this. I made this for a reason. This reason, because this gets used. Wait. This gets used one to one. To one. I don't think this gets recycled, actually, now that I'm looking at it, which is cool. Um, fuck. <laughs> That's fine. We have um, enough. Let's get a fluid terminal so we can deposit our samples. I think this might be a cool way to do terminals right now. So you can, you don't have a place to go. You don't have a place to go either. 4K, 4K fluid storage, no. 4K fluid, yes. So you are going to be this and this. You go in, you go in. Okay, so those are both in the system now. I don't even... Okay, so we have this. Try it. So that should have gone into here. It did not because we're trying to make what are we trying to make here one two three four it's the reagent the reagent isn't being made because why because no, it's one to one. What Where are we? Reagent. Chlorine. And hydrochloric acid. So stuff obviously went into here. So why is it? What happened to it? Okay, I think I figured out the issue, which was that this, the trimethylchlorosiline silene, was getting output to the or to the main net, and that had a request somewhere for it. So that's why this kept getting stuck. But I fixed it, and now I think we're good. I think we are good. For this so we can send this back to the mainnet I don't know what we're doing with you and you can be a storage bus for now um, hydrobromic acid I don't know can we just get like a super tank or something and Put it in there and hopefully ignore it because that's kind of what i want to do hopefully uh well i know we're gonna forget about this we always do okay but hopefully that saves us some time okay hmm what the hell are we doing because we are full on 
Hydrochlor- Oh, right, that's what I need to do. We need to send stuff back out. I think the best way to do that would be to do this. Yeah. Oh, 64k fluid drive. We're going to get one of these and just slam it in there and see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, in the meantime, what are we even trying to do with this episode? We're trying to make a cosmic ray detector. <laughs> Oh, that didn't happen. Okay, you're good. You, my friend. I think you went. What are we doing here? Because we needed... Not water. We needed you to be full of something. It was dichloro something or another. It's that. Okay. So why isn't that going? Oh, because it's not hooked up. That's funny. So this should be filling up with our two fluids, and then we just need isopropyl alcohol, right? And then this can go, well, not all of it, but most of it. Um, we'll come back to that. So let's put isopropyl alcohol on here. Holy shit, did we do it? I think we did it. It's 13 seconds. Let's speed that up because no one's got time for that. Okay. So what do we got here? We got iodine dust. Can just go, but you, you my friend, drawer. You get a drawer and also uh, screw it. No, uh, drawer. Let's do not eight because this is six. No, that's 32. Okay, eight, eight should be good. Eight should be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, storage bus, go here, extract only, and then that returns, okay. And so, that should have gone, did that get recycled? Genuinely do not know. No. Did I lose that? If I lost that, I'm going to be so mad. Um, we needed this to make... Hmm, I might have lost that. Okay, so I quickly whipped up some more. Then why did this stop? Why is this not working now? Hold on. We have 
acetone somewhere. How the hell do we have acetone? Okay, I think this is working. It's getting recycled and put back. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now we have... We have the dust we were missing. Um... Do we have, we do not. So let's put this here. No, not like that. We want a storage bus export only with the, this, All right? So TE, Cosmic Ray. Oh, we can craft it. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, this was so chaotic. Um, cool. So I'll come back once that's built. Not built. Um, finished crafting. Okay, we are back. We're at build height. We just need to figure out how to build this. So it says we get extra points. Build it upside down at build height limit. I feel like this conflicts with um, with the notes here. I thought it said that the sensor block at the top needs to be able to see the sky, um, but we will figure that out. So there's, it's on the second one. So one, oh shit. <laughs> That is not what I wanted. Okay. So, mm, here I think. Also, it wasn't too bad building it, um, all things considered. It built pretty quickly. Uh, preview. So, not like that. like this. <laughs> okay, uh, we just need to center this then. So we need to move it over one, two, three. So one, two, three. Because we want the beacon beam to line up with the center of it. Which that is, right? Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. Cool. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do this. Let's get everything. Debug building. Uh, let's go. Mm. And we have those. Does this form? Oh shit! It formed! Hell yeah. Okay, let's um... Let's change this a little. So let's do that and that. Output hatch can go here. Energy hatch can go there. Already got a... Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's funny. So we can't do that, which is fine. We'll just uh, do this. Right. Generating 50 millibuckets. Hmm. Okay. 
Maybe a Levitron mixture. Cool. I think this is going to be where we wrap up this episode. This episode got long. I uh, apologize, but uh, honestly, it's kind of worth it. What does this look like? Can we even see it from, from down here? <laughs> we can barely see it. What does it look like on the map? Oh, I don't think, I don't think the maps, oh. Okay, so the map hasn't updated yet, but there it is. There's the um, cosmic ray detector. It's getting us Lapatron fluid. And next time we will work on the cosmic computing mixture and hopefully at the cosmic compute unit. Um, this episode kind of took a turn. I didn't expect um, these to be as complicated as they were but we got them sorted out. Uh, no issues whatsoever. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.